All right, and here's a video review for the Mastermind Creations Bovis. This is the first color test shot of the figure. Um, and again, this is the second to last version of the mold. They're doing some final tweaks, as I mentioned in the Fortis review. Uh, just And it's all tolerant stuff. I mean, like, this is pretty much what you're going to be getting, uh, although the paint apps will be silver instead of this uh, kind of champagne gold that's already on there. Um, I, th I think. Uh, they, they've discussed it, and they should be silver. Uh, the colors will be a little bit more richer and saturated um, in the finalized version. These were test shots. They came out a little lighter than they expected, and so uh, they're going to be a little, a little bit richer, a little bit more saturated, as I just mentioned. So uh, we're just going to start off. I'm not going to, since I already did a more in-depth look at Fortis, I'm going to try not to uh, spend a whole lot of time. I'm going to show them off, but I, I'm trying to try to dwell on things with Ford or with Bovis here. Um, it's Tantrum, very cool. Uh, here he is in foot mold, and again, you can see uh, the po the range of posability, like with the uh, with the foot attached. You know, it'll move a little bit from one side to the other, but it will, and, and forward and back, and you can still get use of that toe hinge uh, in combined mode. But uh, it's not nearly. It isn't I mean, like once you get it posed, it's going to stay pretty solid, and. Uh, it doesn't have a huge range of motion, that ball joint, but enough, enough to get some decent uh, poses out of them. So to pop them off of here, we just unpeg all the stuff in the back and uh, pull this out. And just like before, you flip this around, plug it in, um, take the fist, fold it up like this, plug it in, and snap that. Oh, your swivel was off a little bit. Plug it in and snap it in like that. Oh, I forgot to show off the uh, the hammer web. Well, we'll do that for this guy. Also, it helps if you get get that tab at least reachable from underneath because you're going to want to flip that down for animal mode. Here are his weapons. Uh, he's got a couple of knives again in that same kind of gold, champagne, silver, silvery look to them. Uh, these are his knives with the big uh, fist spikes. And he's got a couple of pistols versus the uh, kind of mortar cannons that Fortis had. And we'll go ahead and unpeg these right here. Just like that. Rotate these up. Again, you'll close that joint when it's time. Or, you know, when you're going this way. Close up and peg them around. And now people were complaining about... Or not, not complaining. People had some concerns about the black feet here. They were intended to be red. Uh, but that the factory uh, messed that up with the supposedly put the uh, feet on the wrong sprues and it's something that like this is this is how it's going to be finalized uh, it, it, they want to get it out on time at this point and so they're not going to risk wasting more time and money moving these parts onto a different mold so uh, red legs with black hooves I don't think it looks that bad a lot of people don't think it looks that bad uh, some people express some concerns about it and at this point that's pretty much just the way it's going to be now you can do the alternate transformation with him just like you can on on fortis um i personally like i said i, I like just doing the stock transformation on both of them. i don't think it is that big of a deal to me uh, when it comes to uh them looking different there's a lot there's enough there to make them look different without uh, the ultimate transformation but you know it, it is there and basically it's just this but rotate the feet around uh, I'm not going to show it off because, again, we just showed it off on Fortis. I think if you're going to do it on one of them, I think Fortis is the one to do it on. So there's Tantrum in Beast Mode. Uh, his horns do have some posability. He has the same kind of Chief Quimby thing going on with his mouth and that if you open it up, you can open it up. Come on. There we go. You can see his face in there. I think it's funny. I like it. Um, your mileage may vary. And again, you flip this peg down on the bottom of the uh, the gun. There's some slots right there. You snap it into place, and he can also carry the combined hand cannon, hand and foot cannon on his back in alt mode. He does have some really nicely gold painted eyes in there. Um, they're they're set a little deeper, but they are there. And again, he's got the same champagne gold highlights all over his body, which again should be silver on the final version. It doesn't bother me either way, but uh, there you go. Transform is the same, exactly, his tra the transformation here is exactly the same as on Fortis, since they uh, are mold buddies. 
Um, you know, some different detailing, like like on here on the the, uh, the the knee or what becomes the feet. These pieces right here, um, the shoulder pads, the chest, um, all different. Obviously, the head uh, and things are uh, different molds. The, these pieces right here are different. Um, he's got some cannons versus the vents on Fortis and things like that. So yeah, but other than that, we're just going to do the same thing we did for the other guy. Oh, cool. Both at once. I can live with that. <laughs> so yeah, again, bring these up. Rotate it around so this flips over right here. Flip it around. And bring it forward. Bring this around. Just the hoof. Rotate this. Just the hoof around. And then peg it in on here. Rotate these out to the panels here, out to the side and plug them into the thighs. Rotate these around and up. And again, like I said, make sure you rotate it just the bottom bit here so you don't pop those off. Now on, on, on uh, Fortis, I think these look okay just folded down like this. On or Bovis, I like to fold them up like that so you see the vent pattern. Kind of gives them a little vent pattern there at the waist. It's just another way you can differenti differentiate the two. Differentiate. Slurring my words. Been doing that lately. Um, open these up. Rotate the paws around. Oh, let's, let's actually come up here so you can see what I'm doing. That helps. Been a long night, still recovering from the convention, which was a whole lot of fun. Again, TFCon. Uh, fold this forward. Uh, peg this in up here. Do the same for this side. Put this up. Put the arm down, open up, bring out the fist, which again, wrist swivels. Um, rotate them up. Just like that. And then head around, come up here and flip the fist, fist down. And again, the, the horns rotate so you can kind of bring them, position them however you want in, uh, in his robot mode. You want to have them sticking straight up or whatever. And there he is in robot mode. He can hold his knives. Uh, you kind of have to kind of pop them in there. You kind of have to squeeze them in like this. Come on. And these are part of the Op Oppenheimer sword, I believe. There we go. Yeah, and they hold him have one knife and one gun. Just to give you an idea of his weaponry. He's got two of each. But yeah, really nice. Like I said, the orange will be a little bit more saturated. Uh, again, just to give you an idea of how big he is, here he is with uh, Voyager Sandstorm. So, you can see they're they're really nice size. Razor Claw will be a little bit taller. Um... I said these guys are roughly the height of Ultra Optimus Primal, the original, the first uh, Optimus Primal from Beast Wars. Razor Claw will be a little taller, um, but there he is. Um, also, one of the things that I meant to show off on Fortis, um, but works with both of them. We'll go ahead and get them. Come on, knife. There we go. Get you out of there. Get these out of here. Is that uh, you, you kind of have to use his support him support him with the foot. But uh, you can rotate his hands. There's a couple of pegs here on the back of the foot. So you can give him like a giant We have him using a giant mortar cannon. So yeah, really kind of cool there. Also, something else I forgot to mention uh, on Fortis is uh, I, I kind of showed it off in beast mode, but not in robot mode. Um, is that in beast mode, this clip right here clips on to the, you know, plugs into the back and holds the gun on. But you see these grooves right here? They match up with the grooves here on the, uh, the uh, shoulder blades. So you can attach this. You can peg it on right on here. 
and uh, he can carry they can carry the guns on their backs if you choose. Get a shot of that out here. So yeah, um, really cool. Definitely worth picking up. Um, again, I don't have the uh, unique toys version of him yet. I know he's out. I haven't gotten him yet. Uh, I do have him on the way at some point. Lighten that up a little bit. But just to give you an idea of the size comparison, there he is with the unique toys dive bomb. Um, so yeah, much bigger. I think much more worth the money. And just in case you think I've got him closer to the camera, you can see their feet are right next to each other. He really is that much bigger. There's no perspective trick there. So yeah, these are the guys. Uh, I think he's the first one out and should be due out. So anywhere between, I think I've heard August 15th and I've heard the date got updated to September 1st, but I know at this point they're finalizing the mold and are working on getting these produced. So late late August, early you know first first bit of September, uh, you should start getting these in hand, the final versions. Uh, these are hand-painted color test shots, but uh, made of the final material. They're very sturdy. I dropped them from several feet high at TFCon, and they held up incredibly well. I mean, like, these guys are really, really tough. So, uh, so yeah, there he is, uh, MMC's Feral Rex, uh, the first Feral Con, Bovis.